far. Um, you know, you're not the the most you know, celebratory guy, so getting this and you know, being kind of a humble player as you are, um, kind of talk to yourself up. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's it definitely feels great. Uh, it hasn't really sunk in yet, you know. Uh, definitely, our first goal here is, is getting the gold ball again. Uh, you know, that just adds on. Uh, it's, it's been a lot of hard work, and you know I'm I'm, I'm thankful and honored about it. Right. I mean, your brother was close last year, so you I mean you kind of played with uh, a finalist, and then you played with a winner. What is what are kind of the difference in like uh, playing with a kid that's this good? Well, like Luke said earlier, he doesn't get the points like the other people do or get the stats like the other top players in the state do, but he is a leader of this team and we can always go to him when we're in trouble and he'll always lead this team to victory and the wins prove it. You know, how have you gotten better from your junior year to senior year? Uh, I think it's a lot of the leadership role. Uh, you know, having four starters from last year it's just you know graduated uh, and just throw me in there. Uh, you know, I kinda to like you know learn as I go and um, you know, ever since day one, it's, it's been hard, but it's gotten a lot better, and uh, it's, it's gotten easier, and it's, it's helped a lot. And yeah, it, it seems like watching the last year, you got a little bit bigger this year. Did you add more weight? <laughs> I think it's just from growing some more, probably from the past year, that you know the weight adds on. Uh, you know, working out in the summer, and uh, you know, just you know everything that you do in the off season, you know, helps out in the regular season. Do you have pounds? Last year, this year, uh, I think last year I was about 210, and this year I'm about 220, 225. Okay, so just added weight. What does that do for your game? It, it makes you know it's, just, it's easier for me to post up. It's harder for people to push me off the block. Um, you know, playing volleyball this year, you know, the, the leg strength is there. Uh, you know, it's, the, the jumping and everything helps. So you know, it helped the all-around game. And you know, last year. You know, you weren't the guy. You were a big part of it. Now you're the guy. Everyone's trying to stop you, and you still be able to to excel. Um, what's the difference in being that guy and carrying that role? Uh, you know, you, you you feel the pressure you know, off the court. You know, a lot more attention and stuff. But you know, on the court, it's the same thing. You just want to go out there and get the win. And then back to your shooting. It, it was it seemed like it came in bunches when you make them. I mean. Did the halftime cool you down at all? Um, I definitely got a lot more shots up in the first half than I did in the second half. And they started to know where I was more and be a little more weary of where I was. So then that opened up Luke to get the ball in the middle and then opened up the middle for our big men. Yeah, and when you're shooting like that, can is your offense pretty much unstoppable because they can't guard both of you? Every, you know, inside and outside at the same time? Well, it's pretty hard to guard three-pointer and a seven-foot big man in there. And we have six-seven and six-six also inside. So when a lot of teams like to pack in the middle, so if we bring the defense out to the three-point line, that definitely opens it up and makes it hard to stop. Right, and, you know, you obviously know that you didn't have the greatest shooting nights in the sectional, both sectional rounds. I mean, how do you come out and forget about that and do what you did? Well, those are the past games. We know that the next game is always the biggest game of our life because it's the one we're playing now. So those games don't really affect me in my next game because they're done and over with, and we still got the W, and that's all we care about. All right, and, and you know, like they were saying, you obviously love this floor. You're showing your brother and Bo Ryan that you can <laughs> play on this floor next year, uh, two years from now. I don't know. If they like what they see, then I guess they can come for me. <laughs> Jake, obviously uh, your opportunities from the outside came by design, um, but you took one shot in the first half from inside the three-point arc. Did you feel like you know that wasn't going to have to be part of the game plan tonight? Well, me and Luke were just talking. I came out and missed a bunny in the first layup of the game and didn't take anything else. Yeah. So I don't know. If I can get inside, then I'll go inside, but the three-point is just open for me tonight. Plus, I mean, he was he was doing plenty of work inside yeah. as it was. Um, you know, uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Do you guys have one team over the other that you'd rather see? Uh, you know, both of them are, are solid teams. You know, obviously, came from last year. We know exactly what they like to do. They like to get up in pressure, um, and you know, that's what, exactly what we do. So we do go through that every day in practice, and uh, you know, we're ready for that. And then 
you know, McGuanago is a big physical team, and uh, then again, you know, we're a big physical team, so we do the same thing every day. So uh, whoever is waiting for us at the end of tonight, you know, we'll be ready for them. Thank you.